Good morning, YouTube. And first, let me say this. Welcome back to another one of my videos. And I want to apologize because I haven't been on here in probably about 12 to 14 days. But I have so many things going on right now. We have our baking business. We have our herbal store. I have ton of or tons, tons and tons of orders because this time of the year is very busy. Well, it's busy for me all 24-7. But this time of the year is really, really busy because of the flu season. We got the viruses going on and all those things. So it's very busy for me right now, but I try to get on YouTube as much as possible. But when I do come, I try to give it to you, like give it to you. I try to really give you something good. So I had a class last night, a private class with a, a family of five or six. I would just say six, a family of six. And we were getting down to the nitty gritty about... Um, her feet has been swollen for years, okay? Um, they're not anymore uh, due to me. <laughs> but what, let me say this. I'm going to go over some things with you guys that I went over with them in class and we've been having, I've been having class with this family for the last six months every uh, week. It's usually on Mondays, but um, this week they were busy. So we had to have class last night, late last night. But one of the factors in this class that I was going over with them is um, your lymphatic, your lymphatic, lymphatic system, lymphatic, lymphatic system. Um, Let's just understand that your lymphatic system is your body's liquid trash can. That's what it is. It's your liquid trash can. And what this system does, your lymphatic system, what it does, it pushes out all the bad chemicals, all the toxins. Uh, it, it, it actually... Um, liquefies them and pushes them out of the system so that we won't get sick, so that we won't have problems with our liver and our spleen and our cells and our organs, our tongues, our eyes, our tonsils. Um, and the main focus on is that it's our lymph vessels, our lymph noids, uh, because your lymph noids are the um, checkpoints to fight infections. That's what your that's what your lymph noids is for. The checkpoints to fight infections. Uh, we need our lymph organs, like our tonsils, our spleen. Um, those serve as our immune system factories. Okay. Um, now, the culprit is when it's lymph blockages. Okay. And this is going to be a quick video but it's gonna be so informative. So listen closely. So um, the way that you know that your lymphatic system, that your lymphatic system needs cleansing, I'm gonna give you some, um, some things to look out for. Uh, and we've all been through this. Um, swollen ankles and feet, painful swellings, constipation, mucus and phlegm anywhere in your body, bloated big bellies, um, uh, stiff like stiffness and painful joints and hard to move. It's not all it's not all the time arthritis now. When you're very sluggish, always tired, eczema, eczema, yes, brain fog. Um chronic headaches, sinus issues, uh, itching a lot. Those are all signs, or those are some of the signs that let you know that your lymphatic system needs cleansing immediately, immediately, okay? Um, now, what causes 
this system to be inflamed and uh, what causes these culprits to come about, uh, it could be a microbial infection, it could be a parasitic uh, infection, parasites, it could be uh, cellulitis, which is your uh, when your cells become in inflamed. It could be a removal of a lymph node, okay? Surgery, radiation, uh, tumors, or any type of injury that you've had. Like if you've fallen or if you play sports or something like that, it can cause uh, your lymphatic system to become inflamed. Now, since we've gotten through that, uh, let me tell you now how to correct those things. And I'm going to give you some herbs, okay? I'm going to give you some herbs. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to give you six powerful herbs that can help cleanse your lymphatic system, okay? Number one is turkey rhubarb. Turkey, like a turkey, turkey rhubarb. R H U B A R D. Turkey rhubarb. Turkey rhubarb is anti inflammatory, antioxidant, oxidant, uh, uh, antifungal, antiviral, and it's also an immuno enhancer. Okay, that's turkey rhubarb. Rhubarb. The H is silent. R H U B A R D. Turkey rhubarb. The next one is sh uh, sheep sorrel. Those have the same um, benefits as the turkey rhubarb. Okay. Burdock root. Burdock root is really good for your spleen. Remember I said that uh, the spleen is uh, the spleen is also a part of the lymphatic system uh, that needs cleansing. That is the lymph organ. Your spleen is part of your lymph organs, okay? So, we got to keep that intact as well. So, burdock root is good for your spleen. Also, it's good for hypertension, which when your lymphatic system gets inflamed and it needs cleansing and you have a blockage in your lymphatic system, you, you, uh, sometimes you, 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 you get hypertension, you get gout with the swelling, hepatitis, liver disease, and your blood sugar is all over the place. So burdock root is good for cleansing your lymphatic system as well. Okay, burdock root. B-U-R-D-O-C-K, root, R-O-O-T. Now, astralagus root, I'm going to spell astralagus, A-S-T-R-A-L-A-G-U-S, <clears throat> astralagus root. Now, astralagus root is, um, is good for a lymphatic detox booster, okay? So it's going to boost with these other herbs that I just told you, okay? So you got to mix all these together, all right? Um, the astralagus root is an anti-parasitic, which we need that. Also, it's a good, um, it, it's good for protecting the blood vessels, which that's also a part of your lymphatic system. And it's also antifungal. Okay, slippery elm bark. You need that to make everything flow through, okay? You need all this stuff flowing through and flowing out, all right? Graviola. Graviola is also great. Now, graviola is spelled G-R-A-V is in victory, I-O-L-A. And I'm going to put these in the description box, all of these herbs. I would suggest, I would suggest... If you can, get these in a um, abstract and just follow the directions on the bottle of your abstract, on your abstracts. Normally, it is, I would say, 10 to 15 drops, two times a day in a little bit of water, okay? And you take those. Um, or you can get the raw, um, fresh herbs, and you would do um, a teaspoon, I would say, no, let's say a fourth of a teaspoon of each one of these herbs. And you put them in your cup. You put them in your cup with some nice hot water and you let them sit for about 15 minutes. 
you strain them and you sip this twice a day for 10 days. These will help cleanse your lymphatic system, okay? Uh, if some of these, if some of these symptoms that I just read off to you guys, if you're having them like constantly, then you need the extracts because the extracts go into your bloodstream within 15 seconds and it starts cleansing your lymphatic system quickly. Now, if you want to just keep up on cleansing your lymphatic system, then you want to do the fresh raw herbs. Okay. And I'll put my website description in the, um, I, I'm sorry, I'll put my website address in the description box as well. We have most of these herbs. I know we have turkey rhubarb, burdock root, astragalus root. Um, and we also, we also, I also have uh, the lymphatic system cleanse, okay? Uh, so you could just order that from us if you like. And we're having a big sale uh, right now. Everything is 10 bucks, $10.99 uh, throughout to January 1st. Uh, normally, a lot of my products are anywhere from $25 to $325. But I do this every year. I, I know I do this like every four years. But this year, because of what's going on in the world, I've done this quite a few times. I think this is probably my fourth time this year. So this sale will be going on up until January 1st, 2022. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm going to go and let me write down what I got to put in the description box because sometimes I forget. Uh, so I'm going to put the herbs in the description box for you. I'm going to put my website address and I'm also going to put my Etsy address because also, yeah, we have an Etsy store now, which we have over 500 pieces of jewelry. Uh, so each day, well, each week we go and add probably about 40 more pieces of jewelry on there that I have handmade. Uh, some of them are vintage pieces from about, I don't know, 15 years ago. Uh, but very, very, very nice jewelry, okay? And sometimes I go into stores and I'll take a picture of jewelry and I'll come back home and I'll make it, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Why you guys didn't tell me that my shirt was all, well, hey, I'm at home working. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And um, I hope you guys have a nice, peaceful day. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace and blessings.